What's up team? Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be talking about our um, first unit, Pennant Fever, and going over some probability rules. Um, probability has a lot of different rules and ways to go about calculating the different percentages, um, fractional values, or decimal values um, that are essentially probability. And today we're going to go over some rules that we should know um, as we proceed forward with the unit. So the rules and the list will grow a little bit more um, as the year progresses, but the rules are stuff that we actually do naturally on our own. And the first rule that we're gonna be writing down is something that you've actually done since kindergarten. The first rule is called the complement rule. And no, this isn't where you just walk around giving everybody compliments. However, you should. Um, the complement rule is essentially um, finding the remaining value. I'm going to say probability. Um, out of 100%. Given a probability. Now, let me re reiterate that again by giving an example. Um, if you have something, let's say the probability of an event, the complement is the probability of not the event of whatever you have. So in this case, we can go through a mini example where if we have the probability of A is equal to 0.7, then the probability of A complement, this is the notation for a complement, is going to be the remaining 0 0.3. In other words, to find this probability, I'm going to go over here, the probability of a complement is going to be 1 minus the probability of a. Now, the case with this one, and some of us tend to forget, one is also equal to 100%, which I don't like using percentages when calculating. So I could put 1.00, we can convert it into a decimal, or it's equal to one over one. And so you can use this in order for you to solve using the complement rule, okay? <clears throat> if I were to proceed forward with the second rule, the second rule we're going to call the product rule. The product rule, initially you see this word product, and you think we're going to multiply. And in fact, we are. It's multiplication of the probabilities. And the way that I described it during class was that whenever we have events, that will occur together in some way, especially when we're talking about our specific examples, events that will occur together, comma, we multiply those probabilities. Of the events. The way that I like to think of it is using the word and. And this means to multiply. Which means we want to have this and this and this and this. We want all of these things to come true. And we keep saying the word and, which means we're going to multiply the probability of whatever this, that, and there 